Hi everyone. In this movie, I'm discussing the second module I've created and put online. It's the Instagram importer module. With this module, you can easily import Instagram posts from a hashtag, from a user. Um, the main module is focused on uh, developers. Um, you can specify the tags, specify the users and import um, notes of content type Instagram. Um, a more out-of-the-box solution is a sub-module which is included and with that you can create a mobile-ready, nice-looking gallery. Um, the gallery is discussed in the next movie. Um, in this movie I will stick to the main module, so let's have a look. Um, you will see in my um, test website I have only two content types, but when I extend with the Instagram importer module. So let's have a look. Then you'll see, you'll notice, I will automatically create a new content type called Instagram. So let's refresh. All right, it's here. Let's have a look. It will have some fields. All right, pretty nice. Um, now, this doesn't do anything of yet, of course. So we'll have a look at configuration. There will be a new section, Instagram importer. Okay, so what does it say? Instagram hashtags to fetch and Instagram use, users to fetch. Okay, makes sense. Um, so let's say I want um, some maternity store to follow. Um, I, I want, um, I'm making a website for this pink blush. Um, shop and I want their feet. Um, so in, let's see, I think this site has some um, some uh, some hashtag. So let's add that hashtag and see what happens. So pretty pink in blush. All right, I'll save the configuration and you'll see here, enable importing of new posts on Cromwell. Um, we'll do that and have a look what happens. So run Chrome, all right. So what you normally would do is you would um, disable automated Chrome and you would specify a Chrome job in your, um, yeah, at your server uh, level. Um, and then probably each hour you would run Chrome and each hour new posts will be fetched. Um, if you need um, a more um, a close interval, you can do it, of course, every five minutes or uh, something like that. Um, but it's good to do it at cron run, so mm, that not requests of users will be used to import the post. So um, when I do it in the browser like this, it can take a while because it's fetching all the images. It's storing it as managed files. So um, these are really um, nodes. Um, and the good thing about it is everyone knows how to um, use nodes to make a gallery. Um, and now it's for a developer quite easy to just create a view, um, make a slideshow out of the image with the Instagram avatar and stuff like that. So let's have a look at my first import. So the title, um, this is the full um, post. Um, the ID of the post, the uh, direct URL. So let's have a look at the URL. So, all right, it's this post and apparently this has, this has my, um, my, uh, my Instagram uh, hashtag I'm looking for. So, yeah, uh, you know, you can, I think it's easy to have a look, to have a view of an overview of what this module is about. So, um, right now I could create a view, make sure the hashtag is this one and I'm ready to start. So it has every field you need. Um, and the cool thing is you can combine it. So if I were to say I want hashtag pretty pink in blush and I want hashtag mommy store or whatever, um, I can add it to them. Um, not only can I use hashtags, but also users. So at your Instagram users here, for example, Dries Puntbouwtaart, 
don't add the add sign. Okay, so um, let's have a look. I think there was a mention of the user. So ping blush maternity. All right. When I when I run cron now, also this post, um, these posts will get imported. Then I could create um, a page um, with a view of my own posts and another view with um, posts of my uh, my clients. So um, I think um, a good module for um, end users for your developers. Um, take a look at my next movie. Um, like I said, this has a solution in which you, um, yeah, you know, um, get some out of the box solution with a nice um, gallery. So stay tuned. Bye.